It's not a game, it's a rich thing. Good. There you go. Thanks. There you go. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. You too. <gasps> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Nursing Diary. My name is Sierra, and I make videos related to nursing, lifestyle, and beauty. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're interested in nursing, lifestyle, and beauty. Um, and today's video is going to be about the tea. I'm going to be dropping some tea, y'all, about how I got accepted into nursing school. So if you really want to know, <laughs> if you really want to know, keep watching. Keep watching. This one's a little juicy, okay? Keep watching. I am currently in the nursing program. I go to a school in Texas, and I am in my second year, third semester, and I'm just kind of going to be giving y'all tips um, as well as while I'm telling my story about how I got accepted into nursing school. So first off, I'm going to start off with prerequisites. Like, this I don't think anyone could like obviously that's kind of obvious you need to do good in your prerequisites if you can get all A's please get all A's and then you're like definitely gonna get in the, I'm not gonna say definitely but like get all A's and you should be a one to get into your nursing program so prerequisites are important that's the AMP um, anatomy and physiology one and two microbiology or whatever um, biology course you're required to take whatever chemistry course you're required to take statistics um, and nutrition that was just required for my program I'm not I know it's different like across the board or regardless of what school you go to or state or however they do it but for my program I needed AMP one and two lab and lecture microbiology um, lab and lecture I needed statistics I needed a chemistry course of any chemistry so I took organic chemistry and then also nutrition and a lot of the times they tell you for these classes like to apply to the program you need to do um, you need to get a C or better in all classes and have a minimum of like I think 3.2 GPA or whatever they say 3.6 or I can't remember what ours required was but I think it was only like a 3.2 that's what they tell you you need to get into the program right so you do these classes you think you're good you might have like a B in a class you might have a C in like a little class here or there um, psychology I forgot about that one you might have a C or blah 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 and you think you're good and you apply and you don't get in no the trick is do good in all of your prerequisites for my experience I had to retake some courses I have mainly always been a B student um, a was like hard to come by but I maintain mostly B's and so when I applied for the first time I did not get in because I had too many B's and I was not competitive enough so I had to go back and retake AMP 1 so that I can get an A and I also had to retake organic chemistry so I can get an A my other courses I had already had A's in them but the ones that I did have B's in I had to retake them so that I can be competitive enough or have that competitive status I'm getting a call Girl. You always call me when I'm making a video. Hey, you too. Okay, I'll call you back. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so make sure you do really good in those classes because it's like, it's just imperative that you do really, really well in those courses. And sometimes you can get really discouraged. I know I got really discouraged because they're difficult courses. AMP 1 and 2 are difficult classes and they call them weed out classes for a reason um, a lot of people that started at my program wanted to be in nursing because our school is known for our nursing program and a lot of people dropped out because they couldn't get past those weeding courses such as AMP 1 um, and psychology you know they couldn't get that A so that's where you get a lot of people who are like nope it's not for me but make sure you do good in these classes make sure you enjoy the content because that's gonna follow you throughout your entire career AMP is like the foundation and all those other science courses do good in your science courses can't stress it enough the other thing that is gonna help you get into nursing school that helps me get into nursing school and was kind of like the bulk as to how I got accepted that this is this is where the tea comes in because it gets a little complicated okay it gets a little complicated we're gonna talk about 
the T's test. We know that we have to get good grades. Now let's go into the T's test, which is the nursing entry exam. Some universities might take the HESI. Mine in particular took the T's test. This is the exam that you have to take to get into the program if you do well enough. So for my program, you're supposed to get at least a 72, oh, 69 combined, I think, or I can't remember the exact score. Let's just say an average of 70 on all sections. There are is A and P section, there's reading, there is English, and there is math. Um, each section is timed and you have to finish the sections in a certain amount of time, blah, 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 do good on the exam. Like I said, for my program, you need to get at least a 72 on all sections to be able to qualify to apply for the program. So initially I had finished all my prereqs, I had good grades and I was ready to apply. All I needed to do was take my T's test. So the first time I took it, I did not do well at all. I'm not sure why I studied my ATIT's book, I ordered the book. I did feel like that book was a little too vague. It will tell you what it is that you need to know and what kind of questions are gonna be or what content is on the exam. But I feel like it wasn't specific enough in terms of like testing strategies, if you're not good at taking tests, especially time, time test or standardized test, whatever you wanna call it. If you're not good at that, I would not recommend the ATIT's booklet only because it doesn't give you tips and tricks on like answering the questions. They're not hard questions, but for whatever reason, like I just started freaking out. Long story short, okay, make sure you get a good study book. Um, so the first time I took it, I got a 78, which was not good enough for my program. Like obviously all I needed was a 72, but from the advisors, advisors tell all of the students that, well, majority of students that we accept get a 90 or above on the T's. And I got a 78, which was like, no, I'm not about to get in this program. So um, I took it again. I decided to take the T's test again, and I'm like, hey, maybe I was a little nervous. I'm just gonna go back, reiterate on the things that I lost because it'll tell you what areas you need to focus on, and you'll go back and I rescheduled to take the test again. Took the test again for a second time. I did worse. Can you believe that? Like literally I did worse. I got a 72. The minimum that's required to apply, I, I got a 72 and I was like so bummed out. I'm like, why, why the heck, heck, heck can I can not I do not good, good on this on freaking, this freaking test? test? Science portion was the easiest portion. Like AMP was just A1, just so easy. Um, so I did the highest on that portion, but the one portion that got me was English. Like. English and reading, for whatever reason, I've never had issues with English and reading, but for me, that gave me a hard time, and what really kind of brought my score down. So, second time, got a 72. At that point, I was like, okay, I can't apply. My scores are freaking terrible. I need to talk to my advisor and see what it is, you know, what they recommend, or see what if there's any tips that they can give me, because I'm gonna go on taking this test for a third time. So I told them my dilemma and everything and that my, my grades were good. I had a really good GPA. I had a 3.8 GPA and my, my T test, I just wasn't doing well. So um, at that point they were like, you know, just go get um, another study tool. I don't know, watch videos, do whatever you can to kind of take the test. And they said, we don't recommend that you take it more than three times because you're not gonna do better. Like studies show that, you know, students that take it more than three times just don't do better and it doesn't look good on your application. So at that point when I went to take it my third time, I knew that I had to do good or like that was just gonna be it. Like that was just gonna be it for me. I wasn't gonna get in the program. So when I was taking this test for the third time, I had the worst test anxiety. I've never experienced test anxiety before, but the room started spinning. I literally ran out of time on my math. I couldn't finish all the questions. Um, like it was terrible. It was so bad. I can't even tell. <laughs> It was really bad and I actually failed the English portion. I think I got like a 50. Like how am I doing worse? Worse and worse and worse. Like it makes no sense and I really just felt so defeated. Like I was like, that's it. Like I'm just not gonna be a nurse. And maybe I need to be a teacher. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a nurse. Can't pass this freaking test. Like obviously it's just not meant for me. I prayed on it a lot because I just felt like everything was just not working out and so at that moment, um, I probably cried a little bit. I'm sure I did. I can't really remember, but I'm sure I did. Um, 
because I felt like it just it just wasn't working out. So I went to Barnes and Noble and I tried to look up different study tools and I found a Kaplan tease guide and it was about this thick and I scheduled a test for I think it was a few weeks later and I studied for about um, three weeks I think it was front to back. I studied that book front to back. I knew every single word on every single page, went through all the testing questions, everything. And I feel like this book literally helped me in so many ways that I didn't really know that I was struggling before. Testing strategies, literally it was just amazing. You can do a practice test for the T's. Um, I didn't actually order it, but you can. I heard that you can order a practice test for the T's. Um, so I didn't end up doing that because I had already took it three times. Like, I know it's on it. I just need to do better. So, studied that whole book. Scheduled my exam. I wrote it in every single... This is the kicker, y'all. This is the kicker. This is... This is where the T comes in, okay? Let me... That's hot. Okay. I'm gonna put that down. This is where the T comes in, y'all, because I scheduled my exam. I marked it out on a Saturday on all my calendars. Literally, y'all, like... I put it on all my calendars, all my calendars for this Saturday. And I knew that my test was there. I put a reminder in my phone. I put it on my uh, eye calendar. I put it on my handwritten calendar, everything. Wrote it down that my test was on a Saturday. Study that book front to back. The day before my exam, my presumed exam day, it was a Friday, I went to work and I was like, okay, I need to leave work early so that I can prepare, my, prepare myself for tomorrow. Tomorrow's my exam. I get home and, um, I literally looked at my phone. I checked my email just to double check my confirmation so that when I get to my testing site on Saturday, I can show them my confirmation because sometimes that's what you have to do to show that you purchased the exam and they'll check off your name. Why did it say that my exam was on Friday? That day? That day! I'm checking my phone and it says my exam day was today, Friday at 10 a.m. But in all of my calendars, I marked it as Saturday. What? I missed my freaking exam. How the hell? How the hell did that happen? So I literally was freaking out. Like, I was like, so just, I wish I could explain it to y'all, but I really can't. Like, I was freaking out. So I called this lady that I worked with and she was like just a really big encouragement for me and she just knew like I was struggling with nursing school or trying to get in and she knew like I would always tell her like I'm struggling and we kind of would just always pray together on it so I called her first and I said you will never believe like I was shaking my test was today and I did not like why did I mark it as Saturday on all of my calendars and it was today how did I miss that how could I literally miss that like I don't miss appointments and I missed it she said, don't freak out. I said, like, I can't go take the test. I'm just going to have to literally, like, I, I'm just going to have to wait. I'm not going to get into the program. I'm going to have to wait a whole nother semester to apply. That's going to push me back even more than I've already gotten pushed back. I've, I've had to retake classes. It was just a mess. She said, well, you know what? We're going to sit here. We're going to pray for a second. And tomorrow morning, you are going to wake up. You are going to prep yourself. Like, you're going to go take that exam. I said, like, I was literally defeated. I'm like, why would I do that? <laughs> Why would I do that? The testing, literally, the testing center is an hour away from where I live. Why would I do such a thing when I know my test was not supposed to be on Saturday? She said, just do it. You know, we're going to pray on it. And so we prayed on it. I went to sleep that night, woke up the next morning, woke up early, headed to the testing center. I knew, like, I was not going to be on the paper. And they, they probably weren't going to let me take that exam. Um, but... I sat outside the testing center. I had everything ready. I had my, you know, my study tools or whatever, just going over like slightly some things and just preparing my mind. And I said a prayer before I went in. Like, I know that today wasn't my testing day, um, but I pray that the proctors or whoever is here, that God, you give them a little grace and you give them a little um, understanding that, you know, uh, I'm struggling and maybe maybe you just let them you know have a little forgiveness in their heart and let me just take this t test i don't know god move in the way that you need to move to let things happen if if i'm meant to be taking this test right now like so i literally walk up and i'm checking the she's like check the paper for your name and obviously my name isn't on the paper so i'm um, i see i'm like sorry like ma'am i don't see my name and so she was like pull up your confirmation so i pulled it up and obviously my test date said that it was that friday the day before and she said yeah your test was yesterday like i'm so sorry you missed it um you'll have to go speak with the lady at the front there was another lady sitting at the front of the room 
Um, so I went to go speak with her. I said, well, I missed my test. Um, I didn't know that it was yesterday. I thought it was today. Um, and she was like, well, I'm so sorry. We'll have to email the head of nursing um, because the head of the head nursing advisor because this testing site is full. Like, I'm so sorry, but and that was the last test the last testing date that I had for this um, application period or else I would have had to wait a whole nother six months to apply or however long it took for the next period um, so I applied um, oh no, no no I'm sorry so she was like you're just gonna have to wait like I'm really sorry we're gonna have to email him um, like so she gave me his email so I walked out of that testing center kind of just feeling defeated and I was literally just gonna go to my car and leave because I knew like this just isn't gonna work like I obviously knew this wasn't gonna work but you know hey I gave it a try but I decided to just sit down right outside the testing center and shoot him an email so I shoot him I sh shooted him shot him <laughs> I shot him an email and it was like 7 8 a.m. so it was early on a Saturday and I'm like he's probably not gonna be awake I'm sure he has family I'm sure he's sleeping in like I'm sure he worked all week he didn't end up replying but she walked she ended up walking out and walking right in front of me to her office that was kind of like next to where I was sitting and she walked back out again didn't say anything walked back into her um in the testing room then literally like maybe 30 seconds later she poked her head out and she said hey you know what i actually have his number like i can call him real quick and see if there's anything that we can do and i was like okay that would be great like i shot him an email um but yeah if you can just call him that would be amazing so she called him just saying hey i have this young lady here thought her test was today but actually it was yesterday and she missed it is there any way that we can make room for her you know make an exception and he said yes and actually the room was full but we have one open seat left one open seat left literally how on earth like literally I felt like everything was working against my odds everything was working against my odds I really kind of thought I wasn't gonna get get in to just be able to take the test and it just kind of all worked out like it all worked out not even to mention the first time I applied to my program, I did not get in. And I applied with that first T score that I got, which I got a 78. I did not get in. So in between that, feeling very defeated and feeling like maybe I should apply to another school, even though this school, I went to this school for this nursing program. I knew I wanted to be here. Like, I just knew I had to be at this school doing whatever it, it was. Like, I just... I don't know what it was, but I just knew I was supposed to be there. So I just felt really, really defeated. I had to pray a lot. And then the just the tip of the iceberg was missing my T's test. And now you're telling me that there's one seat available when you said the testing site was full. When you said, um, like, you probably weren't going to be able to get in. You'll have to email him. You know, it was a Saturday morning at 8 a.m. He answered the phone. He said, I can get in. And there's one seat available for me. Okay, so I ran in there. I, I was about to cry, but I had to get it together because I was getting ready to take a test. I did amazing on that exam. I didn't get a 90, but I got an 88 on that exam. After the advisors told me that you shouldn't take it a fourth time, you're not going to do better. They usually don't do better. That's what she told me. People don't do better on the T's test after the third time. Baby, you couldn't tell me nothing. When I submitted that exam and I saw my score, I literally, like, was just so happy. I was about to cry. And I just I just sat there and I smiled. Because I'm like, I feel like everything was working against me. And then it just, it just worked out. God made that work out. And when I tell y'all, I'm a little spiritual. And it just kind of, I, I see revelation in everything. And so it would just, God was talking to me in that moment that, when you felt defeated, you were in a dry season, you felt defeated, you tried to do this, this, that. I tried to apply to another program because I knew I can get in somewhere easier at other places. My program, for some reason, is very hard. They act like they don't want none of their students in their program. And there's over a thousand people that apply to my program and they only let a hundred students in. I was this close. Y'all see that? this close to go into another school because I knew I would be able to get in with the grades that I had and even with the T score that I had. From that moment, I was like, I'm applying to nursing school. I got a freaking 88 on my T's. I got a 3.8 GPA. It's all gonna work out for me now. It's all gonna work out for me. And I was so happy. So I applied to the nursing program. I finally got my letter in I think it was November that I got accepted into the nursing program. After I got out the shower, I literally checked my email and there it was, lo and behold, it said, congratulations, you've made it into the nursing program. 
And like literally all I can do is sit there and cry because I don't think I don't I and I think a lot of y'all can attest to this for some of us it's not easy some people you talk to and they say oh yeah you know like I've gotten all A's and I did really good on my T's test I got a 100 on my T's exam it was so simple I didn't even study you know like oh and for some of us it's not that easy for whatever reason for whatever reason but I want to encourage you to not feel discouraged I feel like I literally went through it all I had to retake classes I didn't do good enough I failed my T's test I didn't do good at all I had to take it more than what they recommended they told me that I probably wouldn't get in and I kind of defied all the odds that they told me um, so I thought that was just amazing and so when I say how did I get into nursing school? I got into nursing school simply because it was just God's favor. And I feel like that it was that was just his plan for me. So for anybody else that's feeling kind of defeated, keep going. If you know that this is your purpose, if you know that this is your calling to be a nurse and go out and care for people, it's not going to be easy. Your calling is never easy. It's always going to kind of not break you, but it's going to challenge you to the point to where you feel like you're breaking. But it's only going to make you better to propel you into what's next. So that is my story um little story time that is how i got into nursing school um and i just really wanted to share that with y'all this video was actually requested by my cousin <laughs> he watches my videos all the time so shout out to you i love you you give me the best video ideas and i'm so excited to be dropping this video to y'all today i'm if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and i also want to know if you're struggling in any kind of way or Whatever it is that you're kind of going through right now in your pre -wrecks to get to nursing school, go ahead and comment that down below so I can say a prayer for you. I'm actually going to say a prayer for you. I'm going to write you down on my prayer list just to pray for you because I know, I mean, not everybody might not be spiritual, but sometimes you know you're calling and sometimes you know you're supposed to be somewhere and sometimes everything is working against you. But guess what? If you're meant to be there, it's going to be on God's timing and it's all going to work out, even if it looks like it's not. So I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Thanks for watching my video. And don't forget to always be kind, love yourself and others, and always go out and try your best. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. It's not a game. It's a red